Hey everybody, it's Tasha from Sylvester Homestead. Um, trying something new today. I'm filming on my couch. Let me see. I went to the bank with my paycheck. See, it's oh lord, it's already Tuesday. Got paid Friday. Um, see. I should have eleven seventy minus a hundred, so I should have one thousand seventy dollars because I've already given the boys their um, allowance, and my allowance is not figured into this. So I've already transferred mine to my high interest checking account. So let me see: two one hundred dollar bills, one two, five hundred and fifties. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 280 in 20s, and I've already done 20, 40, so it should be 220s, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, that is correct, and I should have, it says I have 110, so I should have 90 in tens because of the boys allowance one two three four five six seven eight nine for 90 and the fives and one should be the same should have 45 and fives 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 and then we have 20 Oh no, 15 and 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I have $20 worth of quarters, but those are still on the truck. That's for laundry because when we went to the laundromat, uh, the change machine was broken and we had to go to the bank and get quarters. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get quarters from the get go instead of having the fives to stuff. So my twenty dollars laundry money is already in the truck. Now let me open my book so I can see my breakdown. And here we go. Okay, number one we have gas. Gas is getting two hundred, and I got that in four fifties. One, two, three. Four. So, 100 is going to be for next week. And 100 is for this week. So, that's 200 in gas. Food gets... 300 and we are doing that into two different weeks also so we have two 100s and two 50s and I will fold one for next week and I will leave one flat for this week Let me adjust myself here. Dining out, we have 200, and I have that in two 50s and five 20s. One, two, three, four, five. And I just are dining now for the two weeks. <sighs> Housing, shopping's getting 10. That's for my cleaning supplies and toiletries. And that leaves us with 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dollars. And let me see. Personal is my vape. It's 
so I'm still having a hard time quitting. So I do have a little bit for cigarettes in here also, just to catch him with a pack here or there. A pack's lasting him a lot longer than usual. So I have 50, I mean, 80 allocated for this. So 50, 70, 80. And of course, laundries and two rolls of quarters in the truck, so there won't be anything going in this envelope. Pets, I am adding 52, and I have that going in a 50 dollar bill. And that will leave me with 50, 1, 2, 3, 4. And Missouri Projects is getting 20. And there's still so much I need to do with this, so much I need to balance with this. I'm going to set this to the side, do with that later. And that leaves me with one, two, three, 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. 89, 389, Sophie, go. It's not the cat, it's the dog. So 389 in Missouri Projects. Sophie, go play. Okay, now before I get to my other envelopes with the rest of my money, I got a little bit of Happy Mail today. This is from Reynolds Budgets. That's where I got my 100. <gasps> Whoa! Sophie! Sorry about that. Let me get y'all situated. Sophie, go play. Okay, sorry about that. I realized that my address was all over that. Um, the 100 and 500 slips I ordered from Ronald's Budget. So let me get this slip out of here. Um, I needed more of them. So I ordered some more and I just got my shipment in today. So we'll take a look at them together. Oh. The bookmark says shine all day. I did not order that. Oh. So, oh, a dollar savings challenge. I don't think I ordered this. I think this is a freebie. I'm happy with that. I might incorporate that. Let me see. I ordered two packs of the 100s and one pack of 500s. So let me see how many I got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So with these, I'm going to set these back here. The 500s I'm not going to need yet. Sophie, go play. But some of those dollar store, hundred dollar bills, I might be able to replace, or I know I'm going to need to replace. So, clothing, I have five dollars going to, and I have that going in a five dollar bill. So that leaves me with. 50, 70, 80, 80. Sophie. Okay, so again, 
we have 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88 dollars in clothing. Okay, my cell phone sinking fun. I have five dollars. So it gives me 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46 dollars. See health. I have another five going in. It's 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69 in health. And health is for medicine, copays, ace bandages, Tylenol. Propane is getting a 20. Twenty, forty, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two in propane. Car maintenance. Huh, hmm, is getting ten. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. Now, we got our Missouri inspection sticker and we have our Missouri tags. Now, there's still a few things we need to do in order to get our driver's licenses for the state, but that's why some of this has gone. It's paid for a few things. Now, let's see. Emergency fund. Emergency fund, I took my 1K placeholder out and I put fund it. And I have that $1,000 in my current local bank. I moved the 220 over to a month ahead fund. So, in this month ahead, I put this in a different high-yield checking account at Ally. It's in a savings account. Uh, this 220 and let me see, in my month ahead, I add it. If I can find it, $10. So, being that it was already in the bank, I just transferred it over. Um... To the other bank but i'm going to keep it in cash only until it reaches 100 and then i'll move it to the bank but right now we have one two twenty thirty so 230 dollars in month ahead and i need in order to buy groceries and pay all my bills my goal for month ahead is to have 3500 in there so, now, my savings, I have $10 going to. Ten, twenty, one, two, and this $100 dollar store slip is going to get changed out for one of these more durable ones from Reynolds Budget. So now I have 110, 20, 1, 2 in savings. And savings is just basically what I'm using for generational wealth. Um, that's what's going to be left to my children when, and my husband's children, whenever we are no longer here. So 
a lot of kids, a lot of ways to split. So I'm going to try to get some CDs and savings bonds for all of them. Now, wood, we have $20 going into. So now we have 20 40 60 in wood. And wood season should be just about over. And hopefully next year we won't have to buy any. But I'm going to keep some just in case. Keep some money. Now, the Missouri land payment. That's like our land and shed. Um... Whenever I get this up to enough to pay a note, I'll pay an extra note. We have $5 being added to this today. So that leaves me with 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91 dollars. Christmas, I moved. I didn't get cash out for Christmas. Christmas, I moved um, $5 over to my Christmas. And I'm going to use the dollar store money for that. And that's just some play money I got from the dollar store. So... I put $5 in my Christmas club, or actually I got to double check that if I haven't, I'll transfer it immediately, but that leaves me with 120, 35, 136 in my Christmas. Oh, and I can trade this Dallas store 100 for this 100. So, 120, 30, 5, 6, 136 in Christmas Club. And the next thing I have is my savings challenge. And I'm sitting on my foot and it is asleep. So I should have $100 left to go towards savings challenges. And that will be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100 is going to my savings challenges. And I still have one, two, three, four left over. So in my next video, y'all be seeing me stuff $104 into my savings challenges. And I have some updates for this that I will link at the beginning of that video. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you have, if you're new to my channel, the budgeting aspect, um, I live completely off grid in the state of Missouri. I have no electric bill. I have no water bill. I have no cable bill. Uh, I have solar panels and I have a water catchment and the only bills I really have is my shed note because I live in a 14 by 44 shed that I am currently converting into a home. And I have 14 beautiful acres of land. Anyways, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Mwah!